Oh, 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 oh baby. Pre-recording with the fellow. Oh, oh, that's why I'm I can see the about. future. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome to the pre-game show. <laughs> <laughs> the extremely pre-game show. <laughs> oh, so extreme. <laughs> Presented as always by DraftKings Sportsbook America's top-rated sportsbook app. Use promo code DMVR whenever you sign up. Later on in this very show, these two gentlemen, these two experts are going to make us all rich Ooh. beyond our wildest dreams. Um, what a big game today, guys. Man. Takeover. Uh, we got the Bucks in town. We got Giannis in town. We got the Nuggets back from a very long road trip. A very long road trip that lasted almost two full weeks. Yeah. Uh, we're back home, baby. Saturday night. <laughs> what? Uh, spring. Mm. Yeah, you've got, you've gone con- too far. Yeah, I'm making up context at this point. Yeah, it's not that. Uh, but it is a big game. Nuggets, uh, Bucks. Uh, we're going to talk about that. We're also going to play a little family feud. They don't even know it. This family right here, I'm about wow. to divide We're them. more feud than family, it's but let's do it. Definitely more feud. <laughs> and then, I don't know if people were watching basketball last night, NBA basketball. Let me stop you right there. No, I was not. <laughs> there was a big upset. The biggest of the year as the Dallas Mavericks lose to Charlotte. We're going to talk about a very unhappy oh. Dallas Mavericks team and some interesting storylines there. Help me do it. I've got D-Line Kobich. You guys all know him as Eric Weedham. Wow, guys, big game tonight. It's spring, and the fellas are here. (laughs) (laughs) I know you know it. Were you guys shocked to see the snow overnight? Went to bed, it was not snowing? To be honest, yes. Like I I was, like, very tired yesterday, and when I woke up, it was a whole new world. (laughs) It was a whole new world. Uh, And then over there, Superstar Dev. Everybody else is excited about the Bucks. I'm excited about the bus. Oh, you know what I'm dude. saying? It's yeah. just time to be with our people. We're men of the people. Um, the people are going to be amongst us. We're going to be amongst the people, and I'm excited for that. Yeah, bar's already gonna, popping, man. Yeah, you can have the Milwaukee Bucks. We're going to take the Denver bus. <laughs> that was rough. That was he rough. laughed. He well, well, you. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Let's go over a couple game notes here, fellas. Because we're doing this early, there might be a late scratch or two. I don't know. Last night, the Milwaukee Bucks waxed the Utah Jazz. You think, oh, they're going to be tired. Second night of the toughest back-to-back. Instead, they win by 30 points, 28 <laughs> points. Christ. Uh, they were up that much at halftime, and they got to rest down the stretch of this game. So I look at that, and I go, man, the Bucks kind of only have like a half a back-to-back. It's not that far. Plus, everybody makes a big deal of the altitude back-to-back. That flight's like 30 minutes. You know what? Yeah. It still matters. It's still a back-to-back. I'm not trying to take away from it, but it's not like you're... I want to know, like, do we know what the airport procedure looks like for an NBA franchise? Do they just, like, they don't have to wait in security, do they? No, they do not. They get right on their plane. Okay, so it's not like... They can even bring guns on their plane should they want to, Eric. <laughs> but they're not I'm like... not saying there's an example of that precedent or anything, but... But they're not, like, hanging out in the Hudson News, like, ki- trying to kill time or anything, right? No, no I don't think so. I think okay. it's pretty... Well, then, uh, pretty then you're right. Probably no big deal. Um... Nonetheless, here they are in a second night of a back-to-back. The Bucks are the number one team in the NBA, 52-20. and 52-20. and 20. Uh, Three games up on the, both the Celtics and the Sixers in the last column. So even if they lose tonight, they still have a two-game cushion. Quite, quite the cushion, given that there's only nine games left. Ten for them. They're four games up on the Nuggets. So remember we talked about Nuggets, number one overall seed. Not going to happen. Even, yeah. Even in tonight's win, it's not really anything. They've won three games in a row. But here's what's crazy, Eric. They are 24-3 and three in their last 27 games. Since January 23rd, they've lost three times. That's ridiculous. Remember when the Nuggets felt like they were going to do that, and then they had they went on this road trip? <laughs> <laughs> it was before the road trip, though. It was at home. They That's lost to right. Chicago and That's yeah. right. Spurs. Oh, my God. It's true. That I mean, the Bucks are clearly, in my mind, clearly the favorites at this point in the, in the NBA. Uh, I'm really interested to see what the, the Nuggets are able to do against them tonight. The Nuggets have the pieces. It's just like... The Bucks work in such a way that they don't need like heroic performances out of all their top players. They're just like Giannis is just a big guy. Brooke Lopez is a big guy. Drew Holiday is a defender. Like they, they don't need like guys like uh, Jamal Murray to get hot. Like they don't need Chris Middleton to get hot to be able to be successful. Um, and the Nuggets do. So I hope that he does, and I hope that uh, they're able to counteract a little bit. The three losses come to the 76ers, the Pacers, and the Warriors. You remember that 76ers game? They're the one that snapped the streak. Yes. Embiid went off. Um, The Pacers and then the Warriors. Here's the interesting thing about Milwaukee, and I think it was Seth Partnow that put this out, and I think he's both right and wrong. The Nuggets are second in offense, 16th in defense. 
The Bucks are 16th in offense, first in defense. They're uh, almost perfect inversions of yin each other. Yang. But everybody has this axiom. Oh, by the way, fifth in net and sixth in net, so like basically the same net rating. rating. Um, everybody has that axiom, you know, defense wins championships. But really, I always have said that no offense and defense wins championships. <laughs> yeah. You need to have both. It's true. And I look at this and I think everybody buys the Bucks and sells the Nuggets, even though they're perfect inversions. Is that fair or foul, Dev? I think it's fair. Um, just because the Bucks just got a championship, that's right. the only difference. If they didn't have that, they would be the exact same team. Um, I mean, the numbers back it. Um, everything backs it. Um, Giannis, they all, they, they've already said that he was one of the best players, but when he went out and you know went out on top, that's exactly when the, the conversation shifted as him being the top dog. So um, once the Nuggets win it, if they win it, that's when things are going to go back to um, – them just being on par with each other. I know that's exactly it. It's like the Nuggets will forever suffer from it's the Nuggets until they prove that it's the Nuggets doesn't mean anything. The Bucks weren't anything, and like the the Bucks got the same tr- like Nuggets treatment until they won the championship. Right. It's exactly like Dev says. Like as soon as you shake that idea and in people's minds that it's not possible for a team to win, then. I think it has more to do, though, that the Bucks aren't always 16th in offense. Like, they, traditionally, they've been a little bit better than that, 8th, ninth, 10th. This year, without Middleton for half the year, they're, they're 16th. But I think everybody kind of knows when it comes time, they actually can score at a pretty high level. Um, they are, here's what's interesting about them. They, have, they do defense in such a clear way. Of all the teams in the NBA, their strategy defensively is the most obvious. They're second in the NBA in rebound percentage. Denver's fourth. So they rebound the ball. You get one chance, and that's it. They're going to clean up the boards. They don't force turnovers. They're dead last in turnover percentage forced for opponents. So Denver, if they turn it over tonight, you're d- digging your own grave because they're not even trying to play passing lanes. What they do is they don't foul. They're number one in not fouling or opponent free throw rate, and they're number two in second chance points allowed. They do not give you second chance points. They don't foul you. They're so long, and they use Giannis as this wrecking ball defensively to fly out and contest everything, but he doesn't foul. So if you use your length, you just force people to make shots. That's how they beat you, and they trust that you're gonna, they're going to force you into tough shots. You're going to miss a lot of them, and you get no second-chance points. I think it's a good defensive strategy, but here's the thing. Uh-oh. Denver's really good at making shots, <laughs> especially at home. Denver's really good at sort of like getting into the paint with Jokic and collapsing defenses and making you most vulnerable. And I think that's part of why Denver has been such a good matchup against Milwaukee. Yeah, you talk about a disciplined defense with high IQ guys um, that don't have to take a lot of chances. You're going to win a lot of games just because um, you believe in each other. You're playing for um, for one another. But if you're talking about a what and that, that works in a in a playoffs that works in the, the finals, you're talking about one game. Denver has the ability to get hot. Denver has the ability right. to, um, you know, create those mismatches. And um, the thing about the Bucks is if you rush them, if you blitz, blitz them early, if you take a big lead, those type of teams aren't able to fight back um, into the game. Yeah, they could get stops here and there. But like you said, um, Denver is a, a dangerous offense that makes it really hard um, for teams. So um, you just have to hit first and, and hit often. Um, and then just try to sustain the rebounds, the um, just trying to straight defense. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I mean, it's funny. Like the, a lot of their defense is just them being long, tall, right? I mean, you, so you can't you can't beat that. But what Denver's been doing when they are hitting at their a bit like the thing we've been seeing is the the evolution of the big three will counteract a lot of that. I'm sure. Like right. Like Michael Porter Jr. right now is on such a tear. I, I just can't wait to see what he has in store tonight. Like, I know we're all looking at Jamal. We all are always looking at Jamal because he has the ball in his hands. But, and I, I really hope we see another like glimpse back into Bubble Murray. We got like a few right. little glimpses this year. But even if not, like Michael Porter Jr. has been giving the Nuggets like enough to get something like this done. I would love a big MPJ game. I mean, that part of that is just because I love rooting for MPJ. Yeah. Um, to me, my eyes are on Aaron Gordon. I want to see him do well. I want to the strategy. I mean, he's going up against Giannis. Number one, you're going <laughs> to need to make an impact there. I don't know if he can, but I would love it. Wouldn't it be great if you were like, you know what? He really made Giannis play a below average game, a subpar game. That would be great. But then also, I just have a feeling he's going to have a lot of open threes tonight. 
And I'm curious to see if he's ready for yeah, he to knock him down. I, uh, <laughs> we can't. <laughs> you don't have to take them, right? Though, like even right. if they're open, he can still find like somebody else can also then be open. I, I that's part of this whole thing, though. Is I would love for him to have something that he does. You know, Draymond does this. He'll be at the three point line, spot it up, and as soon as he catches it, he'll pitch it to Curry and set the screen. Because his guy is so far off that yeah. if you're quick, that guy has to like sprint out to Curry. Yeah, I would love for him to have that. Like, oh, Murray's to my left. Here, I'm gonna look like I'm gonna shoot so they don't run out. Boom, right into it. But yeah, Aaron Gordon is clearly the the most important player in this game. Um, he's going against Giannis. Also, <laughs> you do not want Giannis as a roaming defender. That will be the worst thing yeah. um, for the Denver team, for uh, Jokic, for anybody, honestly. You can't have him ro uh, roaming, so you have to be able to punish him. You have to be a guy that can uh, make him work on both ends of the floor. So, Because if he's only working on offense, super, super long night for Denver. Right. Um, so Aaron Gordon is going to have free reign in this game. He's going to have to score. He's going to have to put pressure. He's going to have to defend on the other end. He needs to grab rebounds. He has not yeah. been playing well as of late, so he is the most important uh, guy going into this game. Yeah. I also wonder if we're going to see a Vlatko tonight. I mean, Aaron <laughs> Gordon, that's a tough assignment. You want to be fresh, and you want to be able to throw multiple looks at a guy, so that means more defenders. Do you just go to Jeff Green and say, go guard Giannis? He hasn't been good defensively lately. I don't think you do. So I think you might try Zeke on him a little bit, maybe even Vlatko on him a little bit, yeah. just to throw more bodies at him to keep him guessing it wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, gentlemen, yes. you guys want to play a little family feud? Oh, finally. A little family feud. Oh, man. Kale and I whipped up a little game for you here. <laughs> Goodness. Me and Kale, oh, we got a little game. Steve Harvey <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I hope this is just as full of weird daytime sexual innu innuendo. That is how he does it, isn't it? <laughs> Um, no, we're going to talk about championship odds. Okay. Championship odds. Sure. Dev, I'm going to give you the board first. Uh, okay. Do you right. want to guess? Yeah, here's how it's going to work. You have to guess in order who the who comes first. Then you're going to set what their odds are on DraftKings. And then Eric will have a chance to steal by going over or under whatever it is oh, you get. Oh, man. And, and getting it right. So okay. you're up first. Who do you think has the best title odds according to DraftKings Sportsbook? Sixers. Oh, what? upset. That is Can I steal? <laughs> that is incorrect. Can I steal? <laughs> that is incorrect. Uh, D-line, you the get to box. The, the, uh, that the is, Milwaukee box. Did that change after last night's game when they lost to the Warriors? No, nope, it sure didn't. Um, <laughs> that was it. Uh, Damn it. Hey, don't put the number up there, Kale. You're not uh, listening to the... Uh, uh, Eric, what would you guess their I was going to guess plus 300, but I saw Kale reveal it. I'm going to say plus 320. Oh, you were right. <laughs> you get it, Eric. Oh, Let's amazing. Go. How did Eric pull off the exact right number? Wow. I'm a gambler at heart. Everyone All right, knows Eric, magic man. Eric has the board. He's okay. up 1-0. Um, do you want to guess who has the second best title? By the way, Dev, the game, it's because the Bucks are in town. That's why the game is what it is. I don't understand. Uh, explain the game to me. <laughs> I'm going to guess there's Philadelphia 76ers. That is incorrect. What? Incorrect. Yes. You get a chance to steal the board. Who has the second best title odds? Boston Celtics. That is correct. The uh, Boston Celtics. Now, you get a set of line. What do you think DraftKings has their title odds at? Plus 150. You're going to go oh, better odds or longer odds? Shorter odds or longer odds? Wait, plus 150? Yeah. Uh, wouldn't it be? Yeah, wouldn't it be? I'm, it's is it like plus four fifty or something? I think oh, you. Duh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think uh, you did this correctly. I'm not confused here. He like steals the board. He <laughs> hits two in a row. It's Goodness plus gracious. three plus three thirty. Are you guys it? surprised by well, this? Yes, I, I am. am. I, yeah. That's now that I know that I made a, a dumb mistake. Yeah, make sure you catch Dev's betting segment coming up here in a few minutes. God damn it. Uh, yeah, I, do, I did think that it would be a lot higher. Like, you know, Me plus too. 400, plus yeah. 450 or something like that. That means they're like neck and neck. I don't get why the Celtics are so high. It doesn't make I sense. I don't either. They've just been, they were probably favorites for most of the year. So a lot of that stuff takes a while for the Yeah, but the if you're the one seed, I mean, everybody thinks there's three teams in the West, right? If you're the one seed, you're the one team that avoids the two, three. Sure. So it seems like your odds should be way higher just based on that alone. Um, all right. Dev, the board's yours again. <laughs> uh, I'm ready for this one. Who do you think has the third best odds? Now I'm going with the Sixers. <laughs> that is incorrect. Oh, my it is God. not the Sixers. Uh, D line, do you want to take You a guess? guys remember when we used to sneak in like restaurants? Denver Nuggets? That is also incorrect. God damn it. it goes back to Dev. <laughs> I can't believe you can't guess who it is. Not, not the Sixers, not the Nuggets. 
Oh, man. The, the chat, s- chat's going wild on Suns? you guys right now. The Phoenix Suns. There we that go. That is correct. There we go. Do you want to take a Ooh. guess at their odds? It has to be plus 550. Plus 550. I'm going to say it's longer than that. I'm going to say it's closer to plus 600. Dev gets the board. Plus 475. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Plus, people very high on the Phoenix Suns. All right. The best thing you can do in the NBA is not play. The Lakers, uh, yeah, like, people will be like, they're so quiet and played all year. Everyone's like, the Clippers are the team, man. That's the team. The Suns are the third. The Suns are the this. third. Nobody's actually seen them play yet, but they're oh the third. God. Nine games to go. All right. Now board's yours, D-Line. Who has the fourth best odds? Uh, can I see the board again just so I can make sure that I don't make a ridiculous <laughs> mistake? Okay. Bucks, I'm done that. Celtics, Celtics uh, Philadelphia 76ers. That is incorrect. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dev, you have a chance to see I'm going to go with the Denver Nuggets, man. I have that, to go with the that Denver Nuggets. That is correct. Yes. The Denver I'm not Nuggets. Know. Am I so 100. much better than him? Why man, am I so much higher on the 76ers <laughs> than <laughs> everybody else? Am I a 76ers fan? I think it changed. Yeah. Something changed. Take a guess at what the light is. <laughs> Plus... Plus 700. Good. Lower. It's going to be plus uh, 550. Deb gets it again. What? Plus 800 yeah. for your Denver Nuggets. Plus 800. My man, gosh. it's two to two. Deb clawed his way back into the game here. Oh, man. Once fight. Again, I always fight back. Jeez. Once again, D line gets the board. Fifth best odds. <laughs> Is it the Philadelphia 76ers? <laughs> Fifth time is a charm. Fifth time is a charm. All right. You got to guess their odds. Though. All right. Is it uh, plus. 900. Are you going to go higher or lower number there? Higher. Dev is correct. Plus 1,000. Dude, Dev really made a rebound from He's his unbelievably from uh, embarrassing start. Very to this. embarrassing start. But now he's up three to Not two. understanding how odds work was a tough way to start this. <laughs> it was list. a tough way. Uh, all right. D- D-Line, you get the board again. Again? God Trailing damn. three to two. All right. Who uh, has the next best odds? This uh, is difficult This now. is difficult. I'm going to say... The Sacramento Kings? This is where... Yeah, right. It's oh. Vegas. That oh. is incorrect. Oh. I love this. This is so funny. It's right hard, man. This, this is, is hard. tough, actually. Who do you think it is? I want to work with them, too. Yeah, I know. Who's, who's in the East? Hey, who is in the, East? in the East? I feel like that, that was only them. I mean, I'd help you, but we're literally in competition <laughs> with one another. Oh, this is gonna hard. Go I don't know who else is in go the East. Go for the 76ers. you got to just guess for some team. <laughs> you got East, you got West, you can go anywhere. <laughs> Say the ball. Most teams are still on the board. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm you gonna, have to guess. I'm going to pass. No, you can't pass. I can't pass. You can't pass. You have to guess. A basketball team. <laughs> Cleveland Cavaliers. Incorrect. Bad board goes back to you, D-Line. Wow. That was a good guess. Uh, so it's not the Kings. It's not the Cavs. You get the Cavs. Is it the Warriors? That is correct. Let's it's go. The Warriors. Let's go. God, what are their, what's their line? Uh, 1100 plus 1100. Dev, bigger number, smaller number. Bigger. Dev is correct. He steals it plus 1200. God damn it. Plus 1200 for the Warriors, which means D line has to guess again. Oh my god. This could be for the game. Okay, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say the Cavaliers. Man, there's a tie. You have two teams you could get right. It's not the Cavaliers. (laughs) Goes back to, to Dev. The Clippers. The Clippers are one of the two teams, oh, Grizzlies and Clippers, both with the same odds. Grizzlies and Clippers. All right, set the line. What was the last line? Plus 12. Plus 12. 12. So I'll, play, I'll say plus 15. You're going to go bigger, higher, or lower? Lower, lower. Plus 1350. Plus 16. God damn plus it. 16. <laughs> Dev wins. Dev wins again. That was fun. Was that it, was, was, that that was fun? difficult on the spot, too. Like, really. Yeah. Because you're, like, you're thinking about all the teams that are at the exact same location. Or it is worth noting, though, that you know the Bucks not as big of favorites as you think, and Denver above the 76ers. I think it's because the West, they think, so weak, but worth noting. Noteworthy uh, information there. We does it, the greatest part is that it means absolutely nothing. Well, I think it kind of means uh, that, that they have two teams that are just way better than everyone else, they think, so there's no way the 76ers are going to get to that over those two teams. Yeah, and then the Suns so. at plus 475, like twice as good as the Nuggets. Yeah. Are it's kind of wild. Um, not placed in the top eight, there was the Dallas Mavericks at plus 350, three, uh, 3,500. Don't uh, don't bet that, by the way. Yeah, don't bet that one. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys watched the game last night. They lost to the Charlotte Hornets, the tanking Charlotte Hornets, at home. At home, and by the way, drum roll, Hornets on the second night of a back-to-back. 
Yeesh. You get the trifecta of games you were supposed wow. to win. Tanking team, second night of a back-to-back, uh, playing in your home stadium, and you lose by a record amount of points. It was a, they were favored by 16, and they lose by I can't remember how much. It wasn't that close. Unbelievable. And after the game, Kale, what do we have? Some quotes coming out. First of all, can we get Mark Cuban? Remember he was protesting yeah. the game? He was upset. He wore a very interesting shirt. I swear to God, look at this. It says... Question, um, authority. question authority. First of all, it's just a plain gray shirt. It says question authority. Very lame look. Also, tucked in. Tucked in. <laughs> also, like, it's hilarious, this question authority, because it's the officials. But also, like, is he trying to get on Kyrie's good side? He's like, hey, man, see? See my shirt? Oh, yeah, yeah, see, yeah. Man, me and you are rebels. Yeah, it, yeah, like, nobody understands what's going on but me and you, Kyrie. Yeah, that dude, he looked like a cop in training. Like, he did, I know. Crazy. That's what the thing. He, that? like, tucking in your T-shirt is undercover cop behavior. Great shirt? Yeah, uh, come on, man. <laughs> that was a really rough look for our guy, Mark Cuban. Um, But wait, it gets worse. Uh-oh. After the game, uh, do you have Kyrie's quote? Let's play Kyrie's quote first, even though it's out of order. Make it big so I can read it here. This comes from Tim McMahon, ESPN, covering the, covering them. Can you make this bigger? There you go. Kyrie Irving on the booze in Dallas. So what? You obviously want to play well, uh, but you, it's only five people on the court that can play for Dallas Mavericks. If the fans want to change places, hey, then hey, be my guest. Get years of work ahead to be as great to be on this level, which is a weird comment. Basically saying, players, how could you boo us? We're, we're above you. We've been working on this our whole life. I've spent my whole life getting ready to get blown out by the Hornets at I'm home. actually not so bothered by that. Like, honestly, I think people pick reasons to be mad at Kyrie. I think it's a lame quote, but whatever. It's just like athlete being defensive after a big loss. But let's see how things are going according to their cornerstone piece, Luka Doncic. He says, it's really frustrating. I think you can see it with me on the court. You absolutely can. He looks like he's in hell. Sometimes I don't feel it's me. I'm just being out there, you know? I used to have really just fun smiling on court. But it's just been so frustrating for a lot of reasons, not just basketball. Bro, they, they've been like they've played like four, five games together. Hold on real fast. What were the odds of uh, Luka not being happy with Luke, I mean Kyrie on the team. Minus so here, minus two thousand. Here's the thing. I mean sincerely, I don't think it's just Kyrie. I think it oh, is also sure. Jason Kidd. I think it's also losing. It's all. Of the, it's also the team just not being good. It's probably also Mark Cuban and his tucked in <laughs> shirts. But here's the thing: when a player says it feels like it's not me out there, that's not just a we're in a slump. I don't like yeah. the direction of the team. That's like. Bro, I'm having an out of body experience. Yeah, that's right like now. Th- that's language you, language you use before you break up with somebody. <laughs> that's total. That is so true. I don't feel that's like myself cr- anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Classic breakup. I was language. once in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Still in his bed. That's how you felt, huh, Dev? It didn't feel oh, like I yourself. Felt didn't like, feel like that. Myself. Plenty of times. <laughs> so hey, it's just not me, man. Like I just want to be happy again. <laughs> don't you just? <laughs> And don't I want you happy too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want you happy. Like, you guys don't deserve this version of me. Like, you don't deserve that. Oh my God! I gotta, gotta work on myself a little I bit. Can't be, I can't be my best self no. like, to make you happy. No. It's, it's not. It's more of me. You it's guys, more of me. The the Dallas Mavericks woke up and found themselves in eleventh place right now. Dude. They might now be the team that misses out on the play in. Just a situation to keep an eye on. Luca not very happy. But we gotta hurry along. God. We gotta get Dev to make us some money here on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Dev. Figure out what odds are and then yeah, give do, us some do, do a crash course and then <laughs> give us some. <laughs> it says if I won. Um, real fast. Uh, this was uh, supposed to be a, a back-to-back game for the Bucks. Not really. It was a warm-up game. Um, they just wanted to, they wanted to get themselves going uh, on high altitude. Um, so it's as if they didn't even play yesterday. Giannis only played like 25 minutes. So the fact that they're three-point favorites – scary to me very scary um it was three and a half so people were starting to bet um bucks a ton me too <laughs> me too <laughs> plus three for me i think that they're just gonna at least keep it close um there's one team that's been playing really well the other one is men finding themselves uh, i'm gonna go with the team that like has been solid um sadly sorry god damn it you, you don't have to bet the line you could just yeah you could I just, you I just gloss over yeah, it but i wanted to give people money that's what i'm here for <laughs> Thanks, bucks, guys, Thanks, in the, in the chat. Hey, hey, hey everybody hey your night's gonna be terrible according to dev but hey, maybe you'll get twenty dollars <laughs> <laughs> well it depends what you bet <laughs> units baby we're about units yeah. uh, over under is 237 and a half that is super high scoring um number one defense 
like I just feel like that's a lot of, of points um, to put up. I'm gonna go under 237 and a half. There. I'll take that. Wait, one. Really I'll, root, I'll root for misses tonight I, with you. I, I swear to God, the Denver Nuggets have played the number one defense in the NBA four times. I know. This year. They keep, they keep it was knocking the, them down. Yeah, it was the Clippers, not the Clippers. It was the Cavs. Yeah, it, it, was was the it was Memphis. Memphis. For a bit. Yeah, it's like they Celtics keep, for a bit. They keep playing the number one defense. Oh, not Celtics. Um, Let's just stay on the side of things. Oh Giannis, my God. Get 30 lost. and a half points. <laughs> Bro, this sucks. <laughs> that this is our worst betting <laughs> segment ever, Kale. I'm glad we're pre-recording this. We're cutting this out, right? Yeah, this right. is easy money. <laughs> 30 and a half points. You're going to go for 40 plus. <laughs> all right. Well, just get the like, 30 in. Sorry. Can, can Sorry. we get like AI dev and then dub yeah. over his voice here? We, we also, can, we actually can. Brooke Lopez, over 15. I just think that that's going to happen as well. All right, we're going to Denver side of things. God damn Since it. you guys Let's want to lose money. Well. <laughs> want to lose money. All right. Let's get to the Denver side of things. Um, for points, I, I think that this is going to be a KCP type of game. I'm okay. going to go Man, that over. doesn't feel good the way he yeah. said that. Like, oh, it's a KCP game. Yeah, no, I just think chuckle. that it's a KCP. Oh. I'm going to go over eight and a half um, points for this. I think he's going to knock down a couple of threes as well. All so right. I, I like that. Okay. Um, I also think that it's going to be uh, Aaron Gordon that has to step up. He's going to he's going to have opportunities to score. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go the over 14 and a half. Aaron really? Aaron Gordon. Yeah. yeah, he's taking 15 points from AG. I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I understand. I understand. But I I'm understand. just trying to think. Were, of the I feel other like you were guys. betting along pretty happily when he was giving out uh, bucks. I, I was most. You get the first not. Nuggets line. You're like, I, 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 don't you have a portion where you're going to be able to? Tell yeah, he does have a portion. Keep things. going. Yeah. Keep cooking. I'm going to ruin your side. Yeah, that's right. Um. <laughs> um, so I mean I, I really like those uh, The three points no. Casey <laughs> Eden and Gordon It's going to be a terrible game I, I feel bad about it so, they have, so really honestly what it is is Nuggets lines Are, are too high I think it's the 237 And a half and I All don't right. want to just straight give you Unders because um, Jamal Murray's uh, Over two and a half threes is minus 175 you, you can't do it That's a lot you, uh, you got to do plus four If you're going to do that I think we and get a three Michael point Michael Porter Jr. is also plus four um, Let's do a same game parlay with yeah, three. That's his portion of things. All right. We want a three point heavy same game. We're doing parlay? it now? Is that, yeah. I mean, are we done betting on Bucks? <laughs> yeah, we're done betting no, on no, Bucks. No, no, no. It's not a hurry. I'm getting hold on. The lock of the game is going to be Jamal Murray over six three, uh, I mean, assists. Okay. All right. Over like six it. assists. He has been assisting lately. That's a great bet. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so let's look at the. Okay, so. Same game parlay. I like three pointers. Who doesn't like three pointers? Let's take a look here. I'm going to take. I'm going to take Aaron Gordon to make one three-pointer. He's going to take him. He's going to be available. He's going to be open. I'm going to take one for five, but he'll get one. Yeah. Uh, Jamal Murray, I'm going to take him to get three plus. What? Three? Yeah, right. man. He's All been right. hitting them. All with, right. He's been hitting them on the reg, my guy. All right. And then I'm also going to do MPJ. Uh, I'll go. Maybe I'll go three plus with him as well. You think Yoke takes a three tonight? Yes. I'm, he is going to take a three tonight. I was just going to say, I, I'm going to take one Jokic. It's actually not good juice. They know he's going to shoot tonight. It's One gets you minus 145. What about KCP? He going to hit a couple threes tonight at home? I'm saying, like, listen, Rested. What with that, just the 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 three the platter of threes, Aaron Gordon, Jamal Murray with three, Michael Porter Jr. with three, and Jokic with one, gets you plus 675. I like it. That's what I'm going for. I like it. All right, everybody. We're going to head down to the party bus. Hit that like button for us on the way out. Go Nugs. Go Nugs. See you afterward.